is Andrew Muriongi. Uh, I'm the managing director of Reino Mobati. Uh, Reino Mobati is a manufacturer of uh, custom made roofing solution. And our umbrella, we have uh, the roofing division, we have uh, trussing, which is our new baby, and also we do a fencing system, uh, again, which we manufacture within our, our facilities. So, uh, Reino Mobati is uh, located in, uh, we have uh, branches in uh, Kitengela. Uh, we have another factory, we have two uh, uh, factories in Meru, uh, which covers the Mount Kenya region. So the Kitengela covers Nairobi and the Western uh, region. Um, yeah, this is, a, I think Reino Mobati is one of the most, I, 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 when I, I get this question a lot is because um, uh, it's uh, a, a company that we started from a real life experience. So back some eight years ago, I was doing my house. And uh, you know, in the process of building, uh, there's uh, the materi material supply. And most of the people are building is either they're working, they're running a business, or they're engaged in other activities uh, in Kenya. So uh, for you to be able to finance the house, then you have to have a job, you have to be running a business, you have to generate revenue, or if you also are lucky enough to get to secure a construction mortgage. So one of the weekend was when I was sitting at my site, uh, I was expected to pay as usual weekend. And uh, taking you a little bit back, if you talk to anyone who is in construction, uh, one of the most common narrative is that im jengo imenikalia. So this, uh, I think, right now from the the jengo, literally equipment kalia. So. Uh, but when I was, I was looking in terms of uh, the offcuts, the waste which is coming from uh, uh, the, the, the roofing sheets we had supplied, it was amounting to almost 30% uh, of the actual cost. So back reflecting, you know, when we're seated, I, I call it, so it was almost a eureka moment. I'm asking, uh, when that time I'm seated, from all my friends who are, who are constructing, we have this same conversation. Here we have a heap of uh, offcuts. Uh, from uh, the roofing sheets. Uh, then when I tried to calculate, literally, it, it, it was quite some money. Then uh, we are wasting money and then also we want to pay uh, the fundies uh, to fix and all that. Uh, and I will not blame the fundies because at that point, the only kind of roofing sheets, uh, that's what my butt will get in the market, they are standard size, that you get either 2 meters, 2.5 or 3 meters. So there's no house which is three meters. So which means that at some point you have to do the joining. So I, from that point I started thinking, how can I come up with a solution that would save uh, builders and uh, developers on some costs uh, associated with the waste? And that's how Reno was born. Um, so after... after after, after, after the idea, getting the, the idea, then you have to sit down and do some uh, research so that you can be able to find out the process of manufacturing. Actually, it, has, it had never occurred to me. I would find myself one day manufacturing roofing sheets because uh, my focus was elsewhere totally. Yeah. So from the research, we started doing the research and um, we got the first batch of machines. Uh, that, that's um, the European. Uh, even goes by with our brand names. That's why we decided to go with brand name. Uh, why? Because we wanted something which offers quality. Uh, something which was very fast, machines which were more efficient. Uh, because we were to produce on orders. Only exclusively, even today, we produce on orders. So customization, what it means uh, is we give the customer control to make a decision on their roof. So one, they'll choose the color. They choose the texture. We have different textures here. We have the matte finish, which is rough finish. We have the gloss, which is smooth finish. So with that in mind, we wanted to acquire machines that could deliver that to our customers. So the customer also chooses the length of the roofing sheet they, 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 they want for their homes. Most of the time, uh, from interaction, we found out that even within family, they need to make a decision what color to fit, which design to pick. So it's a collective decision. And that's how customization encompasses a lot of things. It's not just uh, the color. So at times you might find you have uh, teenage kids who also want to be part of the roofing uh, process. 
So customization is, means you own the process, you own the roofing. When uh, the, our, our customers made the, 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 uh, agreed on the material they want, so they would place orders through our sales office. Uh, you can do it online or you can visit. But most of the customers we have tend to place their orders online because uh, most of the customers are either working or they are busy during the day doing other things. So with that, once the, the order is received and confirmation is done, now we start the process of uh, manufacturing according to those sizes. Here the precision is 100% because we have Every house has a different uh, shape, different uh, length. So we receive different uh, length, different colors, different textures. So we have to key in without any room for error. Once that is done, uh, it comes to the factory where we start now start the process of production. From the production, these are this part. So now you load the same and allocate vehicles to different routes. So we are supplying the whole country. Actually, uh, there's no corner of this country so I say more homes in Kenya are being customized uh, by Reno Mabati. Uh, first, I would say I would like to thank our customers. Uh, initially, when we started the idea of customization, it sounded something very complicated. But with time, uh, our customers have embraced the idea because they can see the real saving. So if uh, typically on, a, on a, a single unit of ours, we save 15%, which we have uh, uh, calculated. <clears throat> if you get typically two orders, one which is customized, which the other one is a standard, you, you're likely to save between 20,000 and 40,000 of the, the cost that would have been associated with the roofing. Again, the time, it takes le take less time. So we started uh, also learning. There's a lot of learning. You see, when, when you're doing a business that growth also comes with a lot of learning. It's not only challenges. There's a lot of learning. So we've introduced more product. We listen a lot to our customers. And part of, uh, from when we started, we started as a roofing, only producing my body. But now we produce uh, roofing trusses. Uh, the reason we have the, the roofing, uh, we call them uh, Jami Eco Trusses, is because most of the time our customers will complain. Every time customers are coming, say, yes, I've done the timber work. I've done uh, uh, my trusses up. It's about to rain, there's a lot of sun, so you go, the, my timber is going to warp, it's going to, I need to treat. If I have treated, maybe it's raining, there's that chemical they use for treat, for whatever. Then maybe after some time, uh, the level, because of the warping, maybe the, 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 the timber is not seasoned well, then it starts changing the shape. So with that, we introduce a, a product now, a new product with time, that is now, our, it's eco-friendly, uh, it is termite-free, uh, it doesn't work. We pre-engineer it in our factory. We produce the trust also and deliver to the customer side. This one takes away the pressure of uh, uh, where by now, if you have to do the timber work today, you also need to do the roofing at the same time. So now this one can give you even a span of six months before you come and do your trusting. That allows you time to, uh, I think, going back to Natwele stress yam jengu. So it reduces that, and then you are assured of the quality, the consistency of material which, which is used. Again, uh, when you look at, we're looking at, we are at times where climate change is a big thing. The biggest contributor of climate change again, and maybe we have not come out to accept it, is the construction companies. For every single unit of house which is built, we bring down almost 20 trees. So again, as a company, we also wanted to be part of this journey. As we are saving trees, uh, you cannot only save by planting. You need to save what is existing. And that's how our eco trusses come in into play. One of the other pr products we, we have here as part of our growth journey is our fencing system, which again uh, is a very beautiful product. I'll show you on uh, showroom on the other side. This one um, saves the timber. You know why you could use picket for the timber? You're worried about the termite. The, uh, you could, the painting is uh, maintenance free. So we've seen a growth. Uh, initially, we started maybe four employees. Now we have a workforce of almost 50 people who work for us every day within the organization. For every business, you start with one customer, who is very key. <laughs> but I think now we are serving thousands and thousands of customers across the country. Uh, as I mentioned, every day, 
as even you can see outside, we have more uh, orders going out. Uh, we have more production uh, in waiting. We have more materials going. So uh, customers have embraced uh, Rhino products, uh, both the roofing trusses, the fencing systems, and a range of uh, roofing sheets. Uh, when, you, when you're starting this kind of business, of, it's capital intensive. Uh, it's a very capital, it's a capital intensive uh, business. Initially when we started, I think uh, I sat with the idea and I toyed with the idea for some time. So the initial capital was, uh, that, that's, that's, that was a tough thing. And I would say it's a challenge because I had a good job. I can say I had a good, so the decision to leave the employment also was a challenge. Yes, so you're going to a field you don't know anything about, isn't it? And, and uh, from the background also you need some support, at least people to cheer you. Yeah, this is a good idea, can we run? Everyone was afraid of to join, yeah? Including maybe, even my parents were not uh, very comfortable. You know, <laughs> now you're leaving employment now into the world of Mabati, actually. Uh, Ten years back, it's, it's, it, it is not something which was even common at all. Yeah, it's, uh, it was indigenous Kenya, let me put it that way. Uh, there's none who was involved. So it was almost impossible uh, even to think that this is something that would work. So initial capital was an initial, it was, was, was a challenge, but I had made a savings. Uh, so we started with the savings we had. I'd invested in a few properties here. So I sold that, and that's why we acquired the, our first two machines. Yeah. So the, that initial stage was uh, really tough. No bank was even willing, was willing. Because when we presented to the banks, they could not even understand this concept about mobility and how we customize and, you know. At them they listened, but not, not quite sure if this is something they want to take uh, a bet on. Uh, as the business grow, obviously, a lot of people think they can be able to duplicate your business. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of, uh, this kind of business are a lot of uh, controls in terms of uh, sourcing the material to get the quality material uh, from the distribution. For you to be able to cover the whole country, you need to invest more. So we have a fleet of over 20 vehicles, so which are flying across the country. So for you to be able to manage, you know, you're learning as you go. Every time you expand it, it brings a new challenge. Challenge in terms of production capacity, in terms of uh, staffing, in terms of other, other things which you could not have seen until now you get yourself in that scenario. Uh, right now, so uh, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I sat down, um, I wanted to, to have a brand that presents quality, that is tough. Okay that is valuable. I think we associate this, that uh, is how we as when you look at Rhino, there's a certain aspect that you look at. I say a brand has to have an attribute. So ours is very valuable, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and th then it's rare. So we have maintained and sustained quality to our customers. So we are, we are very tough. Uh, for anyone who wants to start a business, I think it's not a difficult thing to do. Uh, one thing for, to, for you to be an entrepreneur, you have to have a very open mind. Uh, don't create a product for yourself. Create a product to solve a solution uh, which exists. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll give you an example. Uh, the way we started our roofing sheet is from a real challenge which we had. And you can see it, it, do, it doesn't, you know at times uh, people look at entrepreneurship uh, like you need to be a genius, you need to be very complicated. No, it is a simple solution that solves customer's problem. So we looked from the journey also that we can be able to connect. Uh, I looked at the challenges that home builders 
actually that 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 single statement i said this is an opportunity really because uh the mjengo need to take it away from and and that's how our business was born and then we believe because there are people who are going through uh, a real challenge if you're saving a castle of money and you're promising quality people will always support your business number two always listen simulate ideas after he said the business is running, another thing started coming up, cropping out every time. Customer, Mbauzangu in a kauka. If you don't deliver on this time, I love this challenge. And our trusting business was born. You listen again, the climate change, you have a challenges, this drought which is going on, which opportunity does it? Always look at, you see, if you, someone gives you a, a lemon, can you make a lemonade out of it? Those are the, how you start the business. Capital, yes, might be a challenge when you're starting. But again, start small. Don't start a very big thing at a go because there are a lot of parts that moves an organization. You need to learn them so that you can now be able to scale and, and scale in a field that's quite unique. To have a clear vision on where you want to be, maybe 10 years, 20 years from when you're starting the business. When you're starting it, you'll never be easy. Say business, you cannot, you cannot uh, run a lifestyle and a business at the same time. One thing has to run. You know, uh, when most of the people when they're running businesses, then uh, you see a new car, you want to buy that new car. You, you want to move to a better place. This is always a better place. Today, if you move to the best place in Karen, maybe there's a better place to live in Dubai. If you go to Dubai, there's another place, better place in Dubai too. So keep people lose focus, then you start taking money away from the business instead of feeding the business so that it can feed you. Then eventually the business grow. Then separate your business finances with personal life. This is a business. Also learn business regulation for your industry. You need to be very clear to understand which laws apply to your business. Employ professionals and where you can have that knowledge, engage, get someone who has, uh, is in the same business so that also you can understand some bit so that you don't make errors. Errors like in this business, they are very expensive. If a customer gives you an order, for example, of charcoal gray, and you produce Thai red, you know that's automatically a reject because it's customized, highly customized for his house, not for another person. So you cannot be able to switch those orders. So not always listen to your customer. Feedback is very is what will make your business grow. When you're starting network, I say for me the biggest asset I have is network. If there are people who really supported us, are uh, people within my network. They believed in the business, they own the business. Even today, uh, every time I get in one of our vehicles out there, uh, I get young children singing about Reno about, you know, that ownership and, 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 and have something that belongs. It is not you. Let's not be centered around you. It, it, it's a business that solves people's problem and it belongs to them. When I look back, uh, it has been an amazing journey. Yeah, it's an amazing journey because uh, within the year, by 2018, I think 2018, after, uh, after I started running the concept of uh, customer uh, roofing solution and now it's saving a customer money, uh, I was nominated to be the top, top 40 under 40. So in 20. 2018. So f we have won so many awards. Every year maybe we win two, three, four, five awards in a, in a, in a single year. Uh, most of them I love that we started from a uh, new entry, most improved, and uh, just last week uh, we were among the top roofing brands in Kenya. Yeah. So it has been an amazing journey and uh, we thank our customers who continue to support us. And uh, as always, we promise them quality. You see, right now is a home of customers roofing solution where quality is never compromised. But, uh, for me, is to uh, now tell a customer um, to embrace the eco roofing ways. Uh, we need to save trees. Uh, we need to save the environment. Uh, the future of this planet is now, so we cannot continue cutting trees uh, and I expect to have, uh, you, ca you can see the, the impact of uh, global change there. Yeah. The, the, the weather patterns have changed. And as a roofing uh, manufacturer, we 
it came to attention that we are contributors. And we did not just want to sit down and complain and uh, become part of talking. So that's why we took action and we are trying to encourage all our customers to go the eco way, uh, including the wall panels and all that, and, uh, so that we can save trees. You know, you can't save the environment uh, by only planting trees. You save by ensuring you're not logging what is existing uh, because every single unit of ours, by the time you're done, 20 trees are down. Then when you start the journey again of planting trees, which will take many years. So you can imagine every, if you count, if you're doing 10,000 units every month or year, multiply that by 20, see the number of trees. Those are mature trees that have been cut. So we, we as we create, and, and I say, every time you cut a tree, you've cut a life of a bird that was living there, there's an animal that was living there. So the impact is, widespread and wide felt and I think now we can feel it. So for Reino Mobati and its uh, brands, you can always find us at uh, Facebook, Reino Mobati, Instagram, Reino Mobati, LinkedIn, Reino Mobati, YouTube, Reino Mobati. And uh, you can either visit our, any of our branches, physical vi visit of our branches so that you can experience our product. So we have uh, the branch in Kitengela, it's along Namanga Road. Uh, just after Tengela town, we are f uh, five kilometers from uh, the stage. Uh, Meru, we are located in Makutano, opposite Mafuko Industries on uh, Meru Mawa Road. Then we have a new state-of-the-art factory coming up at Kidoka in Meru uh, as part of our journey to serve our Mount Kenya customers faster. So that, uh, that's in Kidoka, uh, Ruiri Isiolo Road. So it's just five kilometers again from uh, Meru to Makutano town. So very accessible. So you can always visit that at that. And we are very active uh, on uh, our social pages. And also you can WhatsApp us on uh, 0722, sorry, 0729628199. Or when you see an over vehicle on the road, they always are branding on, on it. <laughs> you can talk to our drivers because they are ambassadors and also our customers who have used our product also.